let's take a look at this VT graph. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to first describe what is the object doing, and then we're going to find the areas and look at the distance and displacement. So the first thing, what is the object doing? Well, it's a VT graph, which tells us where we are at any given time. Um, we're going to look at what the numbers tell us. At zero seconds, I'm already moving at four meters per second. So it's positive. I'm running that way at four meters per second. At one second, I'm still running forward at four meters per second. So I'm not getting any faster, I'm not getting any slower. That's uniform motion. At two seconds, I'm running forward at four meters per second. So this whole section is running forward at the constant speed. Then between two and three seconds, I go from four meters per second at two seconds to zero meters per second at three seconds. So I must be slowing down. Well, we do always look at the slope. The slope here is zero. The slope here is the acceleration. And since the slope is zero, in this section, I'm not accelerating either way. So I'm not speeding up or slowing down. So that fits with that. This section, the slope is down. It's negative. So I'm accelerating negatively while I'm moving forward and accelerating negatively, so I'm slowing down. That's what this was here. Let's look at between three and four seconds. Well, between three and four seconds, at three, I'm going zero meters per second, so I'm not moving. At four seconds, I'm going across here, I'm going at minus four meters per second. So I'm now running in that direction at minus four meters per second, or four meters per second in that direction, or west. Which makes sense because if you remember the acceleration here was the slope was negative, the slope is still negative here, even though it's below the axis. So the acceleration here is negative. I'm accelerating that way. And according to this, I'm running that way because my velocity is negative. Well, if I'm running that way and I'm accelerating that way, it makes sense. I'm uh, speeding up in that direction. I'm going faster backwards. At four seconds, I'm running backwards at four meters per second. At five seconds, I'm still running backwards at four meters per second. At all the way to seven seconds. So in this section, I'm constant velocity, uniform motion, backwards at four meters per second. And the slope here is zero, that agrees. The slope is acceleration, I'm not speeding up or slowing down. This last section, I'm running at seven seconds, backwards at four meters per second. At eight seconds, I'm running backwards at two meters per second. And at nine seconds, I'm not moving. So I was running backwards at four, I'm running backwards at two, I'm running backwards and getting slower. And if you look, the slope here is positive. So my acceleration here would be positive, which means I'm accelerating that way. Well, I was running this way at four meters per second, and I'm accelerating this way. So it makes sense, I'm running this way, I'm slowing down. Let's look at the area though, that's what we really wanted to do. The area, I'm gonna break it up into pieces, in this section, the area is 4 times 2, positive 8 meters. The units are meters because meters per second times seconds gives me meters. This section, it's a triangle, so it's going to be base times height divided by 2. So it's 4 times 1, which is 4, divided by 2 is 2. So forward 8 meters, forward 2 meters. I find the area here, the area here is negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4, divided by 2 is negative two meters. The area here, the height is negative four, the base is three, so four times three is negative 12 meters. So I've gone backwards 12 meters in that space. Here I've got a triangle, four times two is eight divided by two, because uh, base times height divided by two. Four times two is eight divided by two is four. So this is negative four meters. So I've gone forward 8 meters, I've gone forward 2 meters, I've gone backwards 2 meters, backwards 12 meters, backwards 4 meters. Let's find the displacement now. So I'm going to find the displacement. It's a vector quantity. I have to take into consideration the positives and negatives because they're direction. So I've got positive 8 plus 2 minus 2 minus 12 minus 4 equals negative 8 meters. Well, negative 8 means backward, backward means west, so my displacement is 8 meters west. Now I want to find the distance. The distance is a little different. We add it up as a scalar. We don't include um, direction. So I'm running out of space, so I'm going to do it over here. The distance is, the area under here can be the distance or displacement depending on whether you use the positives or negatives. So I don't worry about direction, so it's 8 plus 2, 
plus 2, plus 12, plus 4. So the distance I traveled is, I add all that up, 28 meters. I don't need a direction on that because it's distance. This is displacement, it's got a vector symbol over it, so it has to have a direction. And I include the positives and negatives. This one, I just add them up, it's distance 28 meters. I've walked 28 meters, but I ended up 8 meters west of where I started. There's one more thing we can do with the information we got from that graph, and that is to find the velocity and the speed. In the graph, I've cleaned it off here because we needed the space, but the result was the displacement was negative 8 meters, which we interpreted as 8 meters west. The distance we traveled was 28 meters. If you look at the graph, uh, the time for the entire thing was 9 seconds. So I want to find out what the velocity is. Velocity is a vector. It's displacement over time. So I'm going to use the displacement, and in this case it's negative 8. So it's going to be negative 8 meters. And in the time, 9 seconds. So that's going to give me a velocity of negative 0 0.9999. I chose numbers that didn't work out very well. We can round that off to 1. So the velocity is negative 1 meter per second. So let's interpret that negative. Negative is backward, which in this case would be west. So it's 1 meter per second west. That is my velocity. Speed is similar to velocity, but it uses distance. This uses displacement, this uses distance, and I don't need vector symbols for it. Well, my distance was 28 meters. And the time was 9 seconds. So 28 divided by 9 is uh, 3.1111, it repeats. So we'll just round it off to 3.1. So I don't need a positive or negative because there's no forward or backward. It's just speed, which is not a vector quantity. It's a scalar. I need units, 3.1 meters per second. So for that same motion, the velocity of the object was 1 meter per second west, but its uh, speed was 3.1. Uh, meters per second.